Good day, my name is Deba Agahi. I'm the senior project engineer for Highleaf Pump Station for Murrumbidgee to Gugong project. What you're witnessing today is, is the installation of the precast panels, uh, day five of the installation of the panels. What makes these panels so special is the design concept and the thought that has been put into it. And also the construction constraints that we had and the challenges that we had in, to get this into uh, the stage it is now. At the moment we have multiple activities going on the same site, it's not just the installation of precast. Um, uh, we have the structural steel uh, installers at the moment working as well, so they're following up the precast because we need to meet the program and it's a very tight schedule. Surely a lot of thought has been put into this. Uh, the designers, GHD was a designer uh, of the pipeline including the building. So they just didn't want to plunk in a big industrial looking building which is a pump station in the middle of a rural setting or a natural environment. They had to scale down the size of the building by using different material and different finishes to make it look, uh, to be more sympathetic with actual uh, rural construct design or the buildings in, in rural settings. So the precast was a solution because it's an industrial building and also there was a lot of constraint in terms of being a major infrastructure. It has a large design life uh, because this is an extension of what we have in Canberra like Cutter, Cutter Pump Station and Cutter Dam which they built in 20s and they already uh, lasted so long and, and these things should have a design life of roughly about 100 years as well. You can clearly see the three layers of the panel. This is the external layer, which is the architectural layer, which they finish. Uh, and this is the insulation, you can see it in the middle. And the structural panel, where the panel were actually loading. A lot of coordination went between the designers, uh, the subcontractors and the constructors to make sure uh, all the tolerances are met and, and everything gets together like a mechanical set, as we say. Uh, a good example of it is the bolt that you see up there and the, the cleat plate coming off the structural steel that lines up exactly with the uh, ferrules or the holes in the precast which makes the job a lot easier as, and that's why the construction goes faster. What we have is a concrete panel but a different type of concrete panel behind me is Hebo. Uh, which is an aerated concrete uh, panel, which is a much more lightweight than normal high density concrete. We use Hebel at the moment over there for uh, partition between the pump hole and the control room. This is uh, to reduce the noise transmitted from the pump hole into the control room, so we have a more quiet control room. So that room behind that wall will be the control room. You can see the, the constraint that we had that all the mortar joints in the brickwork had to line up to make it look like an actual brick finish. We also have this polished band on the bottom with a niche into it or recess that separates the polished finish to actual brick finish. Here on the bottom is uh, where we started. Uh, where we got those patch of rock and a little bit of a concrete. Uh, that's where we started actually our, our uh, reinforced dirt batter and that's the finished level of our pr platform. We also started the rehabilitation work because after building the substation we probably wouldn't have access to this face so we had to do the rehabilitation early in the stage. We had a little bit of a rain recently which washed a little bit of the face but the rest looks good. Uh, you can see it started, uh, the grass has started growing now, it's getting a bit green and now we started having some uh, wildlife visitors. We had a few kangaroos and all that coming grass on this, uh, graze around all this green grass here. Yeah, so hopefully they won't come to sight. <laughs> Thank you.
SA Precast did the precast panel and Kumo Steel did the structural steel. And, uh, and the guys in the background who did the shop drawing were on the phone for hours every day to make sure they haven't missed a bit, you know, and they really did not miss one even little screw. So it was a very good successful project in that sense.